Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 245. Your peace is with me, Father. I am safe. Your peace surrounds me, Father. Where I go, your peace goes there with me. It sheds its light on everyone I meet. It, I bring it to the desolate and lonely and afraid. I give your peace to those who suffer pain or grieve for loss or think they are bereft of hope and happiness. Send them to me, my father. Let me bring your peace with me. For I would save your son, as is your will, that I may come to recognize myself. And so we go in peace to all the world we give the message that we have received. And thus we come to hear the voice for God who speaks to us as we relate his word, whose love we recognize because we share the word that he has given unto us. I had an experience when I was a teenager. I was living in Berlin as an exchange student and a lot of my friends grew up in very secular homes where there was no concept of God or spirituality even. And all of my friends without exception just assumed that you die and that's it because they were body identified, which is normal. It's the normal state of the world of man. It's what the ego believes because the ego doesn't even exist. So once we're no longer perceiving it, it does die. So it's not wrong from its perspective. <laughs> You're not a body, you have a body. And I remember standing on a train station platform coming home from a party we'd all been at and it was later in the evening, it was dark out. And I just started singing a childhood song that I had learned. It was, I am a child of God. And I sang it and my friends started crying. And they asked, will you sing that again? And so I sang it again. And then, will you sing it again? And I sang it again. I ended up singing it seven times at their request. And <laughs> we were all crying. I was crying for happiness because I knew that their tears were tears of relief. They were so happy that I knew that. And it was like I knew that for them. I had a friend in Berlin say to me, you're sure there's a God? And I said, yeah, as sure as I am, there's a me or a you. And even though he wasn't ready to believe that, he was so comforted that I did. It was like I was holding his faith for him, keeping that spark alive that there was more to him than he realized, but on some level he knew. And that's why it felt true and it felt comforting and it felt peaceful that I knew. If someone is lost in a nightmare, then they'll assume that you're delusional, that you are happy and safe and free. and you can still hold the door open for them. You can't go in there and grab someone and drag them out of their dream against their will. They have to choose for themselves if they want to stay in suffering and misery or not. But you can stand as a light in the dark and a beacon of hope and you don't have to be crying or be miserable to do it. In fact, <laughs> that wouldn't make you a very good beacon of hope. So choose love, choose joy, choose peace, and trust that those you love will see that change in you. They will see that you have come home and they will feel safe to follow you there. I 
I give your peace to those who suffer pain or grieve for loss or think they are bereft of hope and happiness. Send them to me, my Father. Let me bring your peace with me. That's our prayer today. Bring that peace with you. You're not trying to push anything on anyone or force anything. But you are willing to bring that peace with you. And others will see it. And they'll ask questions. And they'll trust you. Because they'll see that light in your eyes. The light that cannot be extinguished and that they themselves still carry. Even if it's gone very dim. You can rekindle that light in them through your love, through your wisdom, through your bravery, through your willingness to be your true authentic self. It's the easiest job in the world to simply be your true authentic self. And that's your job. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow for lesson 246.